It's also looking like a nice weekend to get out to the pumpkin patch now that Halloween is less than a month away. And if you're still in search of the perfect costume, there are plenty to choose from. KZI 90s reporter Sarah Hurwitz joins us live in the studio to show us how stores and local farms are preparing for all the fall festivities and traditions. Sarah. Matt, employees at Value Village in Springfield say that they like to get in the spooky spirit a little early. They've actually been selling Halloween costumes since August and say that shoppers have been buying like crazy. So much that some costumes are already sold out. Whether it's spooky, a little silly, or just downright sassy, there's a costume for everyone this Halloween. You know, I've been doing a lot of thinking. We saw like a couple pickle costumes that look pretty funny. Figure that if, we, if you had a bunch of pickles running around, that'd be that'd be pretty good. Going as a group as something's always fun. We've gone as like ninjas in the past, and um, it's always we always have more fun if we kind of do it as a group. Employees at Value Village say while they're stocked with the classics, there's always something new each season. It's always the the shows on TV that are really popular. We've a, we've actually been selling you know, like Duck Dynasty and some of the newer shows like that. I know it's so funny. Manager Rhonda Blackstone says they've been selling costumes since August, but this is the time when sales start to peak. This is the week where we sort of flip the switch and then we really start doubling in our sales each week. <laughs> But the fall weeks leading up to Halloween aren't all about creative costumes. We try to orient everything toward families. Nothing real spooky out here other than me. <laughs> Randy Henderson owns Thistledown Farm in Junction City. He says Halloween isn't just about getting or giving a scare. It's kind of gotten away from a harvest festival, I think, and, and it's become more of a recreational uh, thing for family activities. He says they've been working around the clock building corn mazes and prepping for their grand opening Saturday, ready to welcome families for another fall tradition. The families that come out with their kids, that's, that's really the uplifting part of Halloween. And going back to the main attraction of Halloween, the costumes, customers we spoke with mentioned that there is some concern about the hefty prices. Their tip? buy smaller items and use some of your own clothing to save money. Live in the studio, Sarah Hurwitz, KEZI 9 News.